What's up everybody, D'Angelo here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And I just wanted to make this quick video on the Macari platform. So I made an account over here a few days ago. And so far everything has been going pretty decent. We're averaging about $100 per day, which isn't bad seeing how I haven't put up anything major in the slightest. I actually did order a few lots that's you know gonna be coming in. I'm gonna take those products and put them on there. Basically, if you'll know what a lot is, you go to a, um, an auction site, you bid on it, or you just do the buy it now if they have a buy it now price. Then you just get a bunch of, you know, uh, phones. It could be, you know, gaming consoles. It could be home appliances. It could be speak. It can literally be anything. It just depends on uh, which niche you're, you're going into. So, like, you can buy literally any product on these wholesale sites, you know, or auction sites or wherever you decide to go. But basically, I'm going to be waiting for those to come in. And I'm going to put that stuff over here. I'm going to give you guys um, an update in the future on, you know, how those products and all that stuff are doing. But right now... Um, our balance is $356 and we have $179 in processing. So basically I'll receive that $179 once the customer receives the product, they review me, you know, they say everything is all good, everything's golden, I got it, you know, um, it's not broken or whatever, they just review me. Then once they review me, I review them and then I get um, paid and that's it. So then from there I can transfer the balance, I can, um, you know, spend it on the platform or whatever the case may be. So it just depends on what I want to do. But obviously, you know, your boy just going to cash out um, and send it to um, to the bank account. Now, the only thing I can complain about with the, Kamar, uh, with the Macari app is the same shit I can complain about with Amazon and eBay. Right. So one, you don't control your account. They can shut down your listings. They can shut down your account at any moment. So obviously this is another platform I personally would never take seriously or put all my eggs in one basket. I should say like. I would always use this money as that. Like I don't count the money until it's in my account. That's with Amazon, you know, eBay. Like, like I don't even PayPal. I don't even consider that shit real money if I'm being for real. That's like legit fun credits unless they send that, uh, send it by friends or family. Like it's legit fun credits because they can wait like five months down around down the road and it's just like you know what. I could really use some extra money right now and legit just do a chargeback on you. They get to keep your product and on top of that, they get the money back. Like, and there's no investigation. There's no fight for you. Like there is absolutely nothing when it comes to PayPal. I don't even know how people still fucking use that as a merchant, but yeah, that's a whole different video. I've already made a video on that, but yeah, when it comes to Macari, again, shit customer service for sellers. But again, that's just with any platform down there and uh, just, garbage um, you know shit when it comes to shutting down your account and you know your account can be active deactivated they take down take down your listings and all of that but again if you're used to selling on if you're selling on amazon or ebay you're already used to that that's just pretty much the norm now but the good thing is that they only take a 10 percent fee now that might sound a little high or whatever i'm not gonna lie when i first seen i'm like damn 10 percent but i was like when you really think about it that's really not a lot compared to selling on amazon like if you took um a eight dollar box of cereal and you sold that on amazon well you sold it for amazon on eight dollars so you sold it on amazon for eight dollars you would probably get like maybe a buck fifty two dollars for that now obviously i know that's fba and that's them doing your returns and handling all the support and obviously i know that but i mean if you're selling on amazon that's like your go-to one that's why i'm talking about it but over here on macari they would take 80 cents versus like six dollars that's a huge fucking difference right there you know now obviously you're still gonna have your costs for shipping or whatnot but you're still gonna make more money you know shipping it out yourself versus selling it sending it to amazon and all that stuff and whatnot the good thing about amazon is that the customer gets it in two days and um you know how that goes but over here if you ship it by UPS, I mean not UPS, it's uh, USPS, they actually get it within three days. Like I've had people get their stuff literally the very next day. So, yeah, that's good as well. But um, another good thing that I like about the Macari platform is that the star, you know, the ratings or whatnot goes like your selling and your buying goes hand in hand. So you can come and open up a fresh brand new account, buy something, and then, you know, you can get it in a day or two or whatnot. And then the buyer, uh, the person who sold it to you will review you, you review them or whatnot, but then you'll have a star on your account. So it looks like, oh, okay, good. This person's already getting reviews, stuff like that. Boom, like right out the gate. And then you are forced to review the person. Like you legit will not receive your money unless you review that person and whatnot. So they have to review um, and let every, you know, basically just let everyone know that everything was good, everything was good and, and all that stuff. So reviews over here is actually pretty decent. I like that. You know, again, it's not like how it is over on Amazon where, you know, you can have people just 
Um, you know, like you can have a perfect fucking score over there and then people just leave you a negative review for no fucking reason whatsoever. Again, obviously I'm just getting started over here. I don't know if that's a huge problem. We're going to find out. I'm just letting you guys know my experience right now, you know, this current moment in time. But um, another good thing is that you don't have to um, go through the whole process of creating a business and, you know, doing all this other stuff. Macari literally signed up today and you can start selling today. Like, that's it. There is no uh, whole process, you know, and waiting an entire week or, you know, having to cut the account shut down literally instantly. Like, I actually told a few people about the Amazon stuff and their accounts literally got shut down instantly. Like, for no fucking reason whatsoever. And again, customer support is non-existent, so they couldn't get any help or anything. And I was like, I don't know what the hell to tell you. That didn't happen to me, so I don't know what to tell you, whatnot. So they just pretty much gave up on the whole Amazon stuff. But this right here, again, sign up, boom, get the account going. You don't have to be verified. You don't have to do anything, you know, or anything along those lines. Right now, I am in the process of getting a return. So I'll let you guys know in another video, basically, what's been going on with that. Like, right now, it seems pretty, like, simple, like, they uh, reviewed it. They was like, oh, this is, I actually sent them the wrong order, so this was my fault or whatever. So they're going to send it back to me, and I think, you know, what happens is that I'm going to be like, okay, I got it, and everything's good, and their funds are going to be released to them, which would be pretty freaking decent because if you shop on Amazon or PayPal, I mean, if, you know, you sell on Amazon or PayPal, you know that as soon as they, that person pretty much sends that shit uh, once it says it's delivered to your porch, they get their money back. It doesn't matter if it's in the box. It doesn't matter, you know, if it's broken. It doesn't matter if it's damaged. It doesn't matter if any anything that the customer did after they sent you something. As long as that piece of paper slip goes through the process of going to your door, you can do nothing else after that. And all they're going to tell you to do is follow a police report. And who the hell is going to follow a police report on something that costs like 100 bucks? You know, so obviously if that keeps happening over and over and over. That shit adds up really quick. You lose the money and you lose the auto on the product. So you lose on the product cost. You got you still got your fees. Like so I've already made a whole video talking about that. But yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely pretty shitty. So again, I'll keep you guys updated on the platform here. This was day five. Um, you know, again, averaging out a hundred bucks a day. I'll let you guys know once the, the lots come in. It's gonna. It's a pretty big lot, so I'm legit gonna have to like. They're gonna legit like pretty much just drop it off in front of my house and have to carry it down there everything into the house one by one. But yeah, it should be fine. I'll make a video letting you guys see that as well. But that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, smash the notification bell, and don't sleep on Macari, guys. It's actually a pretty decent uh, little platform right here. But again, I'll let you guys know some more stuff in the future.